All right, welcome to the notes for 2D, and this is part two in the last part. So we've talked about um, angles of elevation and depression. Our first two examples were angles of elevation, and we took the info, we put it on our picture, from our picture we wrote the equation, and then from the equation we just multiplied on our calculator and solved it. Okay, so we here's the question, here's my picture with the info on it, took that picture, wrote an equation, solve the equation. So on the next one, from an airplane at an altitude of 1200 meters, the angle of depression to a building on the ground measures 28 degrees. Find the distance from the plane to the building. All right, so this one's kind of a weird one because up here is the plane. Okay, down here, this is the base of the building. So there's kind of like a building right here, okay? So this is the base of the building, this point right here. When you see this word altitude, that's how high it is. So from the ground up to the plane is 1,200. The angle of depression to a building on the ground measures 28 degrees. So when I think of angle of depression, if I'm standing in, or sitting in the plane and I have to look straight out, when I look down to the base of the building, that angle is 28. Not inside the triangle, it's this one outside. But as we said up above, the angle of depression and the angle of elevation are equal to each other. Now that's inside the triangle, I can use that. If it's out here, I can't use that one. But if I convert it down here, automatic angle of elevation is also 28. Find the distance from the plane to the building. So here's the plane, here's the building. So we want to find this unknown right there. So looking at this triangle and the pieces that we have, we have to figure out which one is it going to be. So here's my angle. I have the opposite and I have the hypotenuse. That's going to give me sine 28 degrees equals 1200 over x. Okay, since x is on the bottom, this is going to be a divide problem. I would take 1,200 divided by sine of 28 degrees. That's going to give me x, which is 2,556.1 meters. And that makes sense that it would be, you know, more than 1,200 because this is the hypotenuse of the triangle. The last one, there's a word that will change the meaning of here. This word right here should be to a rock, not of a rock, to a rock. From the top of a vertical cliff, ooh, vertical, there's my cliff, okay. The cliff is 40 meters high, so that side is 40. The angle of depression to a rock that is level with the base of the cliff, so here, Here's the base of the cliff. This rock is level with it, so this is the rock. So if I'm up here on the cliff and I'm looking straight out, this is my angle of depression looking down at this rock. That is 34 degrees. I can't use that 34 degrees because it's not inside my triangle, but I can convert it to down here. So now it's inside the triangle. Now I can use it. Okay, so if I take a look at what I have with this angle, I have the opposite side. The question is, how far is the rock from the base of the cliff? So they want this value right here. So if I have opposite and adjacent, that's going to be tangent. 34 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Again, this is going to be a divide problem if x is on the bottom, so 40 divided by tan of 34 is 59.3 meters. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.